Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 on DT. So, on the last left off, I took Monty's capital, but I won't be signing a peace deal just yet because he's not willing to give me his luxuries. And I kind of need them. I'm at minus 8 happiness right now, so I can wait a little bit longer. Wait for Bismarck to start attacking his city and then I bet he'll be more willing to give me a better deal. So, that's what I'm going to do. I can help a little bit with my composite bowman too. <laughs> but yeah, I need to deal with my unhappiness right now because that's a problem. I am probably just going to buy these two tiles and connect the citrus and the copper. I need to buy this tile anyway before England steals it. This is the only citrus that I can buy because these two are four hexes away from my city so I can't buy them. So I'll grab this one and... I'm going to send this worker to the copper and this worker to the east to repair all of these improvements. I think that's going to be the best. Because then I will get 3 new luxuries in like 10-15 turns. I will actually get 4 new luxuries because I can trade gems for some other luxury. I bet someone has something for trade. Let's see. Yeah, B Bismarck has wine for trade. The Romans have some luxuries for trade. England does too, but I won't be trading for luxuries with England. Not when I'm planning to attack them. And there we go, now he's more willing to give me a better deal. I don't want your dirty city, I want your luxuries and your gold. Yeah, if I took an extra city now, I would be but like minus 15. Unhappiness. So that's not a good idea at all. So now I'm getting extra luxury for 15 turns. That's definitely going to help. Not to mention I got a little bit of extra money. So that's good too. Right. So my plan right now is to get back into positive happiness, obviously. But move all of my units west. Prepare to attack England. Finish researching education because that's what I'm going for right now. And after education I'm going to grab astronomy for the observatory. I want to build an observatory in my capital ASAP, since my capital is next to a mountain. And once I'm done with this, I might have to get some of the military technologies. I might need them to deal with England. It's going to depend on how strong England is by the time I'm ready to attack them. But I might have to get gunpowder to deal with them. I might have to get chemistry. I guess I'll just decide later. I'll decide once I'm done with astronomy. I do have to focus on my science a little bit now. Yes, I can steal a technology from England, but I can't neglect my own science. And once I'm done with education research, I'll have to build universities in all of my cities, obviously. I also have to get a writer's guild, especially since I get experience bonus to all of my units in a city where I have royal library with a great work. So I kind of want to get the Writer's Guild ASAP. I actually think I'm going to get the guilds in Nineveh instead of my capital. This is obviously a better city for the guilds, because it's going to have higher population, much higher population, with all of this food around Nineveh. This is a much better location for guilds. It's still on a river, so I can get garden in here. I can still build National Epic, since I obviously didn't build it anywhere yet. New Barbarian Camp over here. Oh, I have a quest for it as well, nice! So I can definitely grab this for extra influence with Vancouver. Awesome. I don't have any units in that area, but I'm moving all of my units west anyway. So I can grab that Barbarian Camp before I attack England. But I might be able to get allied with Vancouver, that would be nice. Is there any other quest in here? No. Just this one. But no one is allied with them. So I could just pay extra. The only Civil service is done, nice. Declaration of friendship expired. With who? With India. I guess I'll sign a new one. There we go. Do I have any extra horses? No, I don't. Right, I sold them all. I'm selling 12 horses right now, so I'm making 12 gold per turn from that. My economy is not in a good shape right now. I'm making 6 gold per turn, but I'm making 12. 
gold pertain just from horses alone. Oh yeah, this guy was going to get the copper. Let's keep moving here. I wonder if I should connect to Tenochtitlan with the road or not. I would have to pay for the road more than it's going to bring in terms of gold per turn. So, purely from economic standpoint, this road would not be worth it. But I kind of need to be able to move my units around in the future. I might have to start a city in the middle over here. I'm not too excited about having to do that. But this would be a decent city on the river. It would have a cattle, it would have an extra gems. It would have decent amount of food. But I'm not sure if I really want to start an extra city right now. On the other hand, this road would be 10 tiles long. So that's kind of expensive. That's kind of way too expensive. I don't know, I need to think about it actually. But I need to be able to move my units around between my cities. Right. Horses. I heard you like horses. No, I don't want open borders. Give me all of your gold. Or four gold per turn will do. Let's grab the gems, finally. I'm actually tempted to keep my siege tower as well. I could build a few more siege towers before I research physics and then keep them without upgrading them. Yeah, their melee gets much weaker as the game progresses, but their actual bonus is still relevant for the entire game, more or less. So it might not be a bad idea building a few siege towers than keeping them for the rest of the game. Maybe not all the way into information era and stuff like that, but I could keep them into renaissance era, into industrial era. They would still be useful as long as I can keep them alive. So I need to think about it. Well, I can always build a few and decide to upgrade them later. I can always decide to upgrade them, but I won't be able to decide to build new ones once I finish physics research, because that won't be an option anymore. I can't build outdated units. So if I want to do that, I need to decide before I research physics. So I don't have that much time to decide that actually. I should also get a spy sometime soon. I already have a target to spy on, that's China. China is on the other side of the world, so I don't care about pissing them off. And I do have some technologies that I don't, so I'm going to spy on them once I actually get my spy, obviously. Right, let's grab that barbarian camp. That should give me 40 influence. Still need to get the happiness. So I could annex the city right now, but that's going to decrease my happiness by 4, I believe. So I'm going to wait with that a little bit longer. I need to get back into positive happiness and fast. Any interesting new quests? Okay, oh, Vancouver wants a trade route. Awesome. So I can actually get allied with Vancouver without spending any money. If I get the Barbarian Camp and then the Trade Route, that's worth 80 influence total, I believe. And that will give me alliance with them. That will actually be useful because that's a maritime city and I can use some extra growth. No, I'm not going to declare war on China, you go do that yourself. Have fun. Right. I think I'm definitely going to make Nineveh my guild city, not my capital. I was thinking about that for a while. And this is obviously a better location for guilds. It has a much higher population potential than my capital. It's on a river, so I can get a garden here. I don't lose anything by building my guilds in Nineveh instead of my capital. I do want to get writers guild ASAP for the experience of my fresh units. What's that? Nothing interesting? Another barbarian camp? Oh, Mogadishu wants the barbarian camp as well? Okay, perfect. So I'm going to get influence with two cities for destroying that one barbarian camp. Awesome. I just need to grab it fast before England does it. 
I don't think they are close enough, but I don't want to risk. I was already going straight for that camp anyway, so it doesn't change anything. So education will be done in 7 turns. I will focus on building universities in my cities after that's done. And then I'll focus on my military again. Obviously, since three composite bombmen and one siege tower isn't going to be enough against England. Workshop is done, good timing. Now I can get Circus in 6 turns and then start education after Circus is done. That's perfect timing. <laughs> I'm still not annexing the city. I need to have enough happiness to actually handle that. I should get extra happiness in just a moment. The mine is done. So that should give me plus 4. And the plantation should be done soon. And this mine should be done soon as well. It will be done in 4 turns. There we go, now I'm back in the positives. I'm still not annexing the city yet though, because if I annex it right now, I will drop back into the negatives. Oh nice! We love the king, the Inasur, perfect! So I'm going to change it back to food focus now. Especially since I'm back in positive happiness and I have Will of the King Day for 20 turns. So this is going to help my city growth quite a bit. And three more. This tile, this tile. And... I need a farm over here. I could work the incense, that's only one food. But three gold. And I can definitely use the extra money. I'm not getting science from jungles just yet, so I'll go for the incense. Right, looks good. I'm going to switch the other cities as well. So... Cerro de Potosi, obviously, that's a no-brainer. Both of these tiles, all of these. And this one, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to maximize my growth. Especially since I'm going to need all the extra population for specialists. And Nineveh is next. So I can make Nineveh grow quite fast now. Let's see. Yep, all of these. I have a lot of tiles with 4 food. That's why I want to make this my city with the guilds and not my capital. This one has a much higher population potential than my capital. So I'm going to build all three guilds in here. I pretty much decided already. The only downside is that it's going to take a while because it has low production. But that's why I'm building a workshop here. And the mines will help production a little bit. I'm going to grab this mine and then this mine as soon as this one is done. So it won't be that bad. Right. Let's move. The general will help a little bit, I guess. So what about that caravan? I want to use that caravan for Vancouver because I want to use my remaining slots for cargo ships. Because cargo ships are obviously much better than caravans. And this is my only coastal city right now. So that definitely makes sense. One caravan is more than enough. One caravan can handle the city-state quests. Repair this. I'll just keep my siege tower in my capital or whatever. One composite bombman will probably be enough, but I guess the second one can help. So, water mill will be done in Asor before... Education is done? No, I'm not going to attack Bismarck. Are you crazy? Yeah, I think she's on crack or something. There's my spy. So now I can spy on the Chinese. And steal a few technologies from them. Off you go. Steal some nice technologies for me. Get rid of this dude. Give me the influence. But speaking of influence... I'm definitely going to grab consulates. I was considering going for tradition and legalism, as I mentioned at the start of this game, but I find it really hard to give up all the free influence from consulates. 
I can get friendly with all the city-states in the game without spending a single gold piece. And often get alliances for easy quests. So... I just find it really hard to give up consulates. I will have to delay rationalism a little bit, because I will enter Renaissance era before I unlock consulates, but it's still worth it. I do want to increase my culture a little bit, would be nice getting some cultured city-states. Down he goes, can I loot this with the general? Yes, I can. So now I got some influence. Now I just need to get this second quest done. And I should be able to get allied with Vancouver. That should give me 40 influence. I'm almost allied with Mogadishu. Huh. I think I'm going to give them 250. Where's the city anyway? Oh, it's right here. I could actually get that other quest done. Actually no, because there are mountains on this side. But I could give them 250 gold. I got over 600. Okay, I'm going to do it. So there we go. That gives me ivory. So now I can annex this city. Let's do it and build a courthouse, obviously. Although I could let the circus finish. It's already half done, more than half done. So let's queue up a few things. Courthouse, stoneworks, shrine. I'll just change the order now. So circus first. Courthouse after that, monument after that, stoneworks and shrine. Now I'm just going to change the assignments here. So I'm still going to focus on food. There's no reason not to. And this city actually has a pretty high population potential. This is going to be a really nice city in the long run. And the stone. That looks good to me. Alright. And once I repair the gems, I should be able to trade that for wine with Bismarck. I remember Bismarck had some extra wine to trade. I assume he still does. I can check that, I guess. Was nun? Yep, he does. He has three. Yes, I'm friends with Germany. No, I'm not going to give you gems for free. Are you on crack? Oh, wow. Right, so let's move back. Now I'm going to start preparing for an attack on England, but I might have to research some military technologies, as I said before. I'm not too sure about that. Well, I could probably take Hastings without having to research gunpowder. Hastings is going to be pretty easy to take, so what I could do is take Hastings, then sign a piece, maybe get a new technology or two, to help with London and declare second war to take London later. I do want to take Hastings ASAP, not only to get the free technology from my unique ability, but also to take Hastings from England. This is one of their top cities, so taking this city will already cripple England quite a lot. So that sounds like a plan. That's probably what I'm going to do. If I position a few trebuchets on the other side of the river, I could start attacking Hastings on the same turn I declare war on. Unless she grabs these tiles, but I don't think she will. Right, education is almost done. And the mine... Oh yeah, I should trade for the wine. No, I'm not interested in a trade agreement with England. No, I don't want research agreement, not yet at least. Let's trade something else instead. There we go. So that's 8 happiness, nice. I need to keep an eye on my happiness though, because some of my cities will grow very, very fast. Especially Nineveh. I think I'm going to finish the workshop before I build the university. Yeah, it's almost done already and I can really use the extra hammers from it. So, sounds good to me. I'll switch this to food. Do I have a good tile to work? No, apparently not. I think I'll leave it here, actually. Yeah, that will speed up the workshop by three turns. 
and it won't change anything in my city growth. Yeah, I can't speed up the city growth, so I'll work the mine, but also gives me two gold per turn. So now I can grab more gems. I'm pretty sure I can trade gems with someone still. Right, let's have a look at city-state quests. There might be something easy, still. I don't see anything. 25 influence. Nah, not worth it. So I think Vancouver is the only city I can get allied with easily. That seems to be the case. But that's fine, what was that deal expiring? Bismarck, what? Oh, I was selling iron to Bismarck, right. I don't think I want to continue doing that. I kind of need my iron. For some swordsmen. I'm going to need some decent melee units against England. And yeah, England already has longbowmen. But even with longbowmen, I should be able to take Hastings. With physics only. Or maybe even with siege towers only. If I get one extra siege tower, then move two siege towers next to Hastings and position three composite bowmen behind them, I might be able to take this city very fast. The only problem is I need to defend it and prevent England from taking it back. But I'm just thinking about how to take this city fast, then sun peace, and then prepare for an attack on London without having to wait too long to take this city, if that makes sense. Basically, I want to take this city as fast as possible and then prepare for an attack on London, instead of preparing a big attack against both of these cities. So, two fast wars, instead of one longer war. But before I build up my military, I need to get universities. So, I don't think I'm going to wait for this workshop. I want university in my capital ASAP. So, I'll grab the university first. At least in my capital. Because that will bring quite a lot of science. So, there we go. I will finish the workshop in Nineveh first, though. And Nimrod. University next. I need to get a farm on the floodplains, but might as well work them. That's the only tile I got with more than one food. So I need to get a farm there ASAP, but I don't have any workers nearby. My workers are still working on the luxuries. I should probably grab an extra worker somewhere, but I have more important things to do right now. No, I'm not going to give you citrus for free. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that I have two copies of citrus. Okay. Right. That means I can trade it. Does anyone have any extra luxuries? Yep, the Romans though. So I think I'm going to grab luxuries from Romans. I'm at free happiness only, that's not a lot. Salve. And my cities are growing kind of fast. I assume he's actually willing to trade. Yeah, he is. Keep it. So there we go. I will lose one luxury from Monty sometime soon because I'm only getting that for 15 turns. So this was actually a good trade. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm almost done repairing all of this. Alright then. Oh, I just finished the plantation, right. That took a while. That explains why I didn't see the extra copy earlier. It wasn't there yet. So, I think I'll get started on trading posts on the jungle. Because I'm going to want them anyway. I also want to connect Nimrod with the road now. I think that, war, that, that road is going to be worth more than 7 gold per turn. It should be. Yeah, I think it will be worth more than 7. I had the exact formula somewhere, but I don't have it memorized. I'm still not sure what to do about this situation. 
I don't really want to build the road this long. That's going to be a little bit expensive. But on the other hand, I need to be able to move my units around a little bit faster. So I don't know. I also don't really want to start an extra city over here. Because I'm going to take Hastings from England. And I'll need extra happiness for that. And this is a pretty damn good city anyway. And then I'm probably going to take London as well. Well, not probably. I am going to take London. That's the goal. So I can't really afford yet another city over here. If there was a location with the river and the mountain, I would strongly consider it, but there isn't. I can either get a mountain or a river. I can't get both in this location, unfortunately. Repair that. And... Oh yeah, I was going to buy this tile. I guess it's worth buying this. Because that means I can trade the gems earlier. And I won't get natural border expansion anytime soon. So that's a bit pricey, but it's worth it. And I'll get started. Actually, yeah, I'm going to get that road first. And then get the trading posts. So you guys are staying here. Right. University. Just checking my tile assignments. Yep. Well, I could keep one production tile. I don't really have any other high food tiles over here. I would have to work the jungle. This will speed up the university by two turns. But it will also speed up the city growth by two turns. So now I'm a little bit undecided. Yeah, I think it's better to grow the city faster and then I can always assign the extra guy to one of these mines. I need to get a farm on this tile up here. Right, I'll keep it like this then. But I need to get this farm done. After the road. Did anything else grow? I don't think so. I thought I missed something, but I don't think I did. Looks good then. I'm quite happy with the situation right now. Let's have a look at the technology ranking. I should be around 5 technologies behind. That's what I expect right now. Yeah, I'm exactly 5 technologies behind England. So crippling England in this game will be very useful, seeing how they are technology leader at the moment. And I'm pretty sure I will be able to do it quite easily. I mean, it's kind of obvious that Hastings will be very easy to take. London might be a little bit harder. But I think it's doable just fine, without a massive military. No, not going to happen. Any other interesting quests? Not really, no. I still want to get allied with Vancouver, but I'm just going to wait for my current caravan to finish his trade route, which is going to happen in three turns. So then I can get allied with Vancouver in three turns. I don't want to build new caravans because I don't I want to use the remaining two slots for actual cargo ships. Since cargo ships are way superior, obviously. As you probably know. Nothing interesting going on. Just checking. Alright. So I'm pretty much waiting for my universities to finish right now. And once I'm done with astronomy, I will get observatory in Asur as fast as possible. That's the number one priority. And I want to get writer's guild in Nineveh as fast as possible as well. Just to start getting great works. Not only for the extra culture and tourism, but more importantly for the extra experience. Right. I think I'll keep this tile actually. That's going to give me extra free gold per turn. Although I could also work this one. Yeah, that's probably a little bit better. I will finish a mine in five turns. So that will give me some extra production. Oh, nice. Now I can get allied with Vancouver. So let's do exactly that. Oh, I'm not close enough. Okay, I have to relocate to Nimrud then. Not a problem. It will be done. And that was the last improvement that needed repairs. Now I'll just grab some farms. 
and the city will grow on the next turn. This will be one of my better cities actually. It has a lot of food, but it also has some high production tiles nearby. This is a really good location. Not to mention it's a coastal city, that also helps. So let's grab that influence with Vancouver. And that's also 5 gold per turn. So it's definitely not a wasted caravan. Definitely not. Anything else in here? Great artist for Mogadishu. Yeah, that's not going to happen just yet. But that's fairly easy, actually. I mean, I will build artist guild after the writer's guild. I'm already allied with Mogadishu, though, so that doesn't help me all that much. Oh, I see English settler over here. Where are they sending it? Good question. They can send it from my territory. Actually, yes, they can. I might want to block this. I don't want her to start a city somewhere here. So I'm going to block the way. And move my units here. So she won't be able to move through. Can I move the siege tower? Yes. There we go. And I'm actually going to finish this part here. Continuing next one. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.